Hey guys, very good morning. My name is Mithilesh Singh and today I am going to discuss about Global Catalog Service. What it is, how does it work, we will discuss in detail in our today's session. Let's assume you have a forest environment and there are three domains. The first is parent, cloudxindia.local, other two are child. You are part of your child domain, health.cloudxindia.com and you are trying to create a user. The moment you try to create user, you connect to a domain controller and the user what you create that is stored inside the NTTS.DIT. NTTS.DIT replicate the, the object information with other domain controller within domain. Okay. The information, this object information or user information will not be replicated with any of the domain within your forest, like whether it is parent domain or your other child domain of your parent. It means the object can be accessible from this domain or the domain controller within this domain. So each domain has its own object information. But what happens if you try to search the object of the other domain like parent or the telecom.cloudxindia.com. So from this domain, you definitely cannot access this object information. So here, basically global catalog service come into the picture. Global catalog work as a search index. It stores the object information of the complete domain, complete forest. How? We'll see one by one. So the first thing is when you promote any DC first time, like you create a domain first time and you promote a DC inside the domain. So the first domain controller becomes GC by default. Other DC you have the optional like options to enable or disable that is up to you but the recommendation keep all domain controller as a global catalog ser service so the first dc become global catalog of your domain the moment you enable the global catalog service it stores the same information what your domain controller has means whatever is there inside entity.dit it has all the information also it stores partial attribute copy of other domain means from the parent and the other child telecom whatever the user is created there it this global catalog service can have the partial attribute information what does it mean it does not have the complete detail bits and byte information of this object inside the parent but it has the partial information like name sam account group membership all this information right it have the partial information a dc basically knows information about uh, like uh, whatever the object you have created within domain so if you are talking about if we like uh, differentiate between D dc and global catalog so the dc can give you detail whatever it stores but global catalog can give is information whatever it has inside its own domain and other domain within forest it helps application and users to search object from active directory database so if there is any application which basically uh, try to face the information of active directory object they connect to global catalog service and then global catalog helps to get the detail of that domain or other domain within forest to the application and same thing with uh, happened with the users as well so user principal name resolution basically what how does it work so when you try to search the user it uh, resolve the upn of the user and it show the information to you it also stores universal group membership so Take an example if there are 10 users and two users is part of a group which is the universal group so what happened when user try to log in first time or when you join the user inside the that particular uh, group right the global catalog services stores the information okay these two users belong to universal group member okay and what happened when user try to log in the global catalog service basically authenticates those user if global catalog service is not available those two users cannot log in inside the domain other users can log in inside the domain but those two users cannot log in this is one of the 
like a, a disadvantage right so global catalog service must be available if you have any user part of universal group membership uh, universal group if there is like chance when you lose the global catalog service right you need to enable this group uh, universal group membership caching from sites and services in such cases what happen when user try to log in first time the sites and services stores the information right and it helps users to log in in uh, in case of uh, gc is not available the set of attribute that are copied to global catalog is defined in ad schema so whatever like there are some default values which automatically replicate uh, or copy to the global catalog but apart from the default if you want to set uh, other options as well you have to go open your ad schema and define that value to add an attribute uh, to the gc you must select the options as we said from the schema so you can open your uh, directory schema and then you have to select that particular options and uh, click it replicate the attribute to the global catalog you have to check this box and it will be replicated so guys that's all for today's and i hope you enjoyed the video please share subscribe and like my channel thanks guys thanks for watching